shake, you shake. I shake. I Welcome shake. to day six of our Christ Hope International fundraiser. Um, we have been craft. I have been crafting all week. With I've been not crafting yet. You haven't. <laughs> Why not? Why aren't you crafting? Because I work. Make sure the sound is off on that. It is. We're gonna be annoying. Off. Okay. Look at you. I got it, girl. You're like, wow. We're way <laughs> professional. I need to get my other thing for the background. Amateur. We've been talking about my background a lot this week. We're working on it. Okay, so all week long we're doing a different craft, part of Craft Your Stash, which is randomly when I feel like it, I will just pick a like week or two that I will just pull out crafts and start crafting. And this Craft Your Stash, I've decided this will, the first week of November, when Orphan Sunday comes out, we will do a fundraiser for Christ Hope International. This year, it's a whole week because it started from the 1st to the 7th. So we got seven full days, six full days. Today's the last day to enter for a prize. And we have a new total from yesterday that we're super excited about. Do you want Jumbo! to do it? $9,685. Which means we're adding another Disneyland ticket. What? And we're only like 200 and something, 300 and something dollars away from another Disneyland ticket. So you're going to have like a, like, anti tape Disney squad just showing up? Yeah, as long as it works for all the winners to go at the same time, uh, I'd love for them to all go at the same time. But if it doesn't, then I just get to go to Disneyland more than once. Yeah. You enjoyed that scene. I just found out that the annual passes are sold out right now. So. Wah, wah, wah. I know. I'm like, dang, now I gotta, I gotta get tickets every time I go. So, anyways, that is so exciting. Thank you guys so much for donating. Um, so, your stakes went up even more on the Disneyland trip one because we're adding three. There's three total now. Or is there four? four three tickets total or four tickets total? It sounds great. I don't even know. We bypassed the $1,000 yesterday so quickly that I, like, forgot. Okay, I'm going to start you base painting. Okay. Because um, this one's going to, it needs some dry time. So we'll base paint this together. So if people are just joining in for the first time, how do they get tickets, raffle tickets, There is sign up? If you're watching the replay, it's probably over. But for those of you who are joining us live, um, there's a link in the description of this video that you can purchase any of our raffle tickets. It's just like an old school raffle where however many $5. tickets, $5 for one ticket, however many tickets you buy, those are going in the pot. Steph and I will probably be doing all of this all weekend is, uh, adding all of your guys' names to the digital pot. And then we use this cool website that's going to pick everybody, but your stakes are higher when, where's the water? Uh, when you uh, when you offer more or you donate more. And files come with every single dis or, uh, raffle that you purchase. Fun stuff. And if you remember, I launched a bunch of member files today, this morning, just for fun. What? And I added a bunch of Grinch files and Dr. Seuss files and Harry Potter All files. Christmas stuff? No, oh. just random stuff that I have been needing to add back to the website. But more as i've added it too so That's exciting yeah people joining us from socal Start base painting oh sorry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so mm -hmm. we are gonna base paint this whole piece of wood uh blush pink and let me tell you what this is so this is a grow with me kit that stephanie from my team is what are you doing okay there's, hold there's on chunky okay stuff. hold on let me just give you okay this is gonna be new here this is gonna be a long okay you got chunks in there I don't give me instructions. Okay. Let me give you instructions Base before points. I start you. Because this will take forever to dry if we don't do it. Okay, correctly. so you want it thin? You want a very thin coat to start, and we may do two coats, but we probably shouldn't need two coats, but not Just like thick at all. Around. So okay. I actually go from the lid. Um You're a woman though. We just go straight. Yeah, but I'm doing it right and you're not. So <laughs> I don't care if I'm a woman you or not. Do it that way. You brought me here today. Um, okay, still a little thick, but okay. I'll get it. I'll his get side it. is going to dry a little less. Maybe I'll have him work on that side, and I'll work on this side. So I'm going to start base hours. painting over here, and we're going to stencil this um, blushing, and then I'm going to use uh, Coral Kiss. Those are my two favorite colors. Um, Coral Kiss as the stencil. And sorry if I'm sassy today. It's a long week. I'm tired. Oh, you ain't sassy. How are you being Everyone sassy? Everyone knows me as sassy here uh, now. Um, but, so, Stephanie 
graciously made 20 kits and you can buy them. I saw a comment right before we started the video saying, I don't have a Glowforge, so this might not be for me. But our team is going to start really working on kits for you guys. So even if you don't have a Glowforge, you can enjoy doing stuff with wood because I know I'm excited to be able to buy kits like this because I don't have a Glowforge either, surprisingly. And I don't really plan on getting one either. I know he wants me to get one, but... Okay. I've got Super amazing cool. people that I work with that can, I can buy stuff for and support them. So that's right. That's what you're in the business for, right? That is what I'm in the business Helping for. Helping people build up. Their yeah, own if business. my business can support other businesses, that is what I am all about. So, you guys have blessed me immensely. So let's bless others. You know. Monique said, "I love the new seamless pumpkin pattern." Thank you. Yes, Is I that for sewing? I added a bunch of <laughs> It's like you or Tiff. I don't care. I just have my We gotta keep you grounded. Yeah, we're, we're I like guess news. that's what you're doing is keeping me grounded. I hate this brush. Um I I don't think that's what you're doing is keeping me grounded. I think you're just keeping me like remembering, okay. That there's a bunch of You've got a lot of stuff you gotta explain if some people don't um okay, I really love the brush you're using. So I'm gonna go Would you in you like the trade. No, I grabbed one of yours, oh. your type. So um twenty dollars and fifteen dollars of each kit and she's only doing twenty of these kits. Uh how are you doing on sales of these stuff? Are they still there? There's a link to get that. There's also it's the last day that Melissa is donating from her card kits that we did a couple days ago. So if you wanna get a card kit you can do that i figure i decided well i guess i'm not gonna say it. i know who i'm gonna send my cards to i decided there's 14 left 14 left there are 14 of these grow with me kids um you're gonna love it you're going to be obsessed with it stephanie posted her finished one this would be such a good like community craft like to get a bunch of people together and everyone makes a growth chart um or like a baby shower gift i know for me like people expect diy gifts out of me and sometimes we were talking about that on instagram yesterday it was like sometimes we don't have the time to do <laughs> like here's a, a gift, gift card. <laughs> yeah so we end up going that but if you could get a kit it could actually save some time on you and for you to be able to actually give a gift like this i know i've given growth charts for baby shower gifts before and it was because i used to go to katie's workshops and make them but if you were to throw like a crafting party, so with you'd your have kids. fun and be able to give it away. Yeah. And not have more crafts laying around everywhere. Yeah. And Steph was sharing a bunch of ideas that she has for hers, and she'll be sharing those ideas on Instagram today at one o'clock with me. So she is just all about the Glowforge right now, and I'm loving it because she's coming up with super fun things for our members, and they're going to blow you away. Like, I'm so excited. Okay, what are you doing? You're doing a great job. Dude, I'm like you're halfway. Doing a great... I'm, I'm halfway. I know, but yours is going to take a year to dry. <laughs> Sorry. And that's fine, but we don't have a year today. Uh, men and liquids, we just apply excess amounts. Got it. I don't know what that even means. Uh, you but... take it for what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you Okay, your brush strokes have to go this way, though. Oh, you never explained okay, that. Okay, but I didn't know I had to, because I didn't... <laughs> this is a whole new show, and guys, it's different with Tiff, because... I'm not Tiffany. She not doesn't drive me insane like you do. Well, you're stuck with me. Uh, I know. I should have known that. Go with the grain. Okay. Yeah, but... go with the grain. You do... You, don't act like you don't know. How are comments going? Read comments. <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing. I can only do one task at a it's, time. I love it. I was afraid this was going to take forever because obviously I take forever when I base coat paint. So maybe going thicker and taking more time to dry actually is a good thing. This is a very wonky board. It's been sitting waiting for a project for a long time. How's it going now? I'm reading the comments. Uh, I'm just reading them. Read some out loud, no? Uh, oh my God, Dustin, you're getting in so much trouble. Yeah. That's nothing new. But any actual questions about anything? Um, like what kind of paint we're using or what we're doing our fundraiser for? Oh, there's a good con for this thing. There's uh, These would be great for renters too so we can move around with Yes, you. I wish. And I told Steph when I saw this. That's super true. Um, I was like, I wish I, I'm going to go and write on the back. I got to go look at like pictures or his parents have kept track of our girls in their house. So I could just like copy that. But like 
I almost want to put a picture on the back of like the size they were, but we've moved so many times. You yeah. know, we're a happily married moving couple. Yeah. <laughs> That's an inside joke. But um, we have moved so many times and I'm like, I didn't ever track. I think I tracked them on our first house, but I also had oh, high hopes so we were staying in that house forever. <laughs> Uh, we are both left-handed. Somebody asked We that. are. So it works yep. great when we're doing a project together, which is rare. <laughs> come on now. I had to literally beg him to come today. Beg. Explain uh, the definition He was like, can beg. I come help today in any way? And I was like, sure. I was like, do you want to be in my life? He's like, oh, I guess. <laughs> I usually annoy the heck I was like, what else would you do to help me? He's like, I don't know. Something. I'm done on my part. Good job. Here, let's move the board down. Oh, uh, or we can flip it around. Flip it around. You could paint the edges. Oh. I don't don't get it on your beautiful new shirt. Beautiful new shirt. So fun fact, I made Dustin uh I don't know if you guys can <laughs> see that I have Africa on my shirt, but oh yeah, you can. I can see it right there. Yeah. Um I made Dustin a shirt for this event because he's gonna be live with us tomorrow. And I didn't realize I grabbed my size and I gave it to him. No, no, no. You asked me how it was, and I tried to. No, politely... no, no. I am not to that oh, part okay. yet, but you can get you can tell that part no, no, of the no, story. It's okay. I accidentally on. grabbed my size, and then I was like, "How come you haven't tried on?" The... Like he's like, "I've tried it on." I'm like, "How come you haven't worn the shirt that I made you?" He's like, "Man, it's just not. It's just <laughs> not doing the right things for me." <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it's a little you know a little tight, and uh, you know I'm not a skinny guy. Let me but, get uh, you moving on painting these pieces, and then while this dries, this has to dry quickly though because we're stenciling another color on top of it. Gotcha. Um, so long story short, she made it with a medium size shirt. Yeah, so. I did say that you're already. Just, you're just dreaming of that. But body he it looks so bad. <laughs> He walked out. He's like, "Babe, this is what the shirt looks like." We both didn't realize it was a medium, and so I was like. What is the wrong with the sizes? Like that we can't be promoting this as a large if it fits like that. And then he like takes off he's like this is a medium. It's a medium. Okay, so Laura C donated. Thank you. Whitney S donated. You so, guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for donating. When you buy this kit, you'll get um are you doing the actual kit that I have, Steph? Or are you doing I know you have two different kits. Um and I know I should know that. What answer. are the dimensions on the sign? So my sign is nine inches wide. I'm not sure the length. I'm just going to start from the bottom and go up. But it's, it's a, six feet. Yeah, but I don't know if the actual board is six feet. It the, is. How do you know? Because it's a six foot board. I bought it. <laughs> but did you cut it? Because I have had you cut boards before too. But, yeah, it doesn't say. So anyways, um, you'll get the pieces that say grow with me. I need your guys' help picking the color. I want to paint these, and then we'll get Dustin started on painting those. And then you also get, I don't want to pull them all out because y'all saw what I did with Melissa's cards. I lose little pieces, but she puts them in these little bags, so that makes it easy. This is the numbers, one through five. And then this is the dashes um, for the feet and the, I'm guessing, half foot line. So yep, it's, so it's oh, yeah. right there. It's all labeled Inch for markers. You. And one dot for the grow with me, and then half inch markers. Stephanie, you're so organized, and I love it. Um, we're testing out kits and stuff because we want to start making kits for you guys and all the fun things. But she's selling these, um, and she might sell more. And I know Katie from the Devlin Diet, well, from things Katie makes, also sells kits. So we have lots of ways for you to get Glowforge fun. Without having glow for without having a glow forge. So what I want you to do is here. You keep face painting because you're amazing at that. All right. Um, just don't let it fall. Okay. I'm gonna start on these, and I want your help. So this is the base colors. They're gonna. It's gonna be a giraffe print because if you got this, you could you would have gotten the icon art stencils in one of your downloads, and this is the giraffe print stencil. And I created this with the icon art because icon art is giving away a hundred dollar kit. I think it's even more than that because it comes with the whole stencil kit. And so you can make your own stencils. Um, I just ordered more icon art stencil film because we are like on this chalkboard kick. We want to paint a bunch of our walls in our house chalkboard. We saw it 
the mimosa house. The and mimosa we were like, house, yeah. we want to do that in our house. Yeah, that's um, super cool. But I'm going to make a bunch of different stencils so that I can change out the decor all year long. What are people saying? Anyone know what the size of the wood should be? Oh, that's in question. So this is a, a nine inch by six foot board. So you need a six foot board. I'm glad I'm wearing paint slathered pants already. I'm glad you are too. But it doesn't have this color on them. Okay, the hairs, you gotta take them off the board. I am. This came from our house, so there's probably hunter hairs on it. Yep, um, hunters everywhere. Okay, so what I need help with is I wanna do the dashes in one color and the numbers in another color. Maybe I'll do all three of these colors. What do you guys think? And so it's like monochromatic in the so it's the teal, the Americana, which is my favorite color, and navy. I say that about all of them, but it's my favorite in the line of blues, the Americana. So can you see the colors? So I have these three colors. So it's a monochromatic with another monochromatic pinks and blues. I guess this is technically like a greenish, but it still falls in the blue family in my mind sometimes. We got hey some guys. more donations. Matt uh, donated. Thank Lauren you, Matt. Donated. Thank you, Lauren. And Jana donated. Thank you, Jana. Stephanie said that it should be a minimum of nine inches wide by six feet tall. There you go. And I think hers was 12 inches wide that she made. So um, minimum of nine because mine's the smaller of the two. And I think she made this kit. But they're, they're like, it, you space them out as far as you want. It's a six foot board. So I technically wait, probably wait, didn't wait. need. Space what out? The notches. The notches for the... We're going to get there. What? Wait, wait. If the notches are for half-inch markers and foot markers, you can't just space them out however you want. I didn't say that. Oh. I said you space <laughs> them out and you start from the bottom and you go up as high as you can go and then you can decorate the top if you have excess. I gotcha. Yeah. I thought you were saying like, no, hey, just I make did the it. foot markers... Welcome more. to Dustin always trying to... Too literal. No, he just, he's always keeping me on my toes. Like, are you sure you're doing it right? Are you sure you're doing it right? Don't be messing it up. It keeps me feeling very humble because a lot of the times I'm doing it wrong. Erica said the Americana looks so pretty. Right. So I like the softness of the Americana too. So maybe we start with Americana and do just like a little bit more of a pop on the numbers of the teal. Or we go big pop with the navy on the numbers. Oh, I could pattern the grow with me with like poke, like subtle polka dots. Too. If you anybody who crafts with me knows that I just end up, I love patterns, and that's why we're doing the giraffe print. And I don't know if Stephanie like it scared her when I said it, but I was like, I'm gonna make a giraffe print. But guys, we're gonna do it. okay. Now let's flip the board around and I'll work on, I'll work on. Flip it over. No, 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 no. Like me get the wet. You get the wet side and me get the dry oh, side. Okay. Let me and then. That real quick. I think this will go faster than I thought it was going to go. So maybe we can just do all of it. And you you focus on comments. I like when you read Kate comments. Kate Burns asked, how much is a sponsorship for a child? Oh, great question. So do you want to answer question. that? Yeah. So you can actually go to Christ Hope International's website, and they have a sponsor a kid link. And I believe it's either $35 or $36 a month. And uh, for that amount per month, you are sponsoring a kid to help them with uh, their education. Um, you know, pause for a second it, so I don't over. What? Just pause so I can do that. Oh, so you don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the thirty-five or thirty-six dollars, possibly thirty-nine. I haven't looked recently, um, but uh, you also help support their health care. So making sure they're getting the right nutrition, they're being taken care of. Uh, it also provides support for the family member who might be um, taking care of the kiddo. One, I think, really cool thing about Price Hope International is they don't, they're not an orphanage uh, organization. They help uh, kids stay with uh, family members. So uh, I think that's super important for, you know, a child's well-being, their mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so if, if, you, if you're interested in sponsoring a child, uh, go to Christ Hope uh, Christ Hope's website, and they should have a sponsor a child uh, link that you can click on. So thanks for asking that, Kate. And I know we've talked about um, having an Ante 
sponsored care point community eventually oh, too really? yeah uh, we were like if we get like 50 people interested in sponsoring a kid we could easily do a care point yeah all one care point that would be super cool yeah i haven't talked to you about that nope oh <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's all good thanks crystal k for a donation thank you so are you putting the you giraffe print, print? across the whole thing yeah i'm gonna giraffe print the whole thing that's cool but i realized this i have two giraffe prints and i'm one is seamless and one is not and i'm pretty sure this is not the seamless one what does that mean um it means like when you put them next to each, like if i were to move this to here the pattern would continue seamlessly uh, yeah so it might look weird comments comments or I could get Monica's on joining us. Uh, Kate you. said, please do an anti take care point. We just hit. No, 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 no. Oh, I was so excited. <laughs> I, I was like, first, <laughs> I was like, as long as you're announcing a number, just do it excitedly. Okay, <laughs> do it on your knee. <laughs> we just hit. <laughs> I feel like the little kid that just got no, no, no. You no, you were hitting my paint. I know, I get it. And you have the paint cap there. Yes. We just hit ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars, which means we're adding another Disneyland ticket. Dang, is that every thousand dollars you start yep. doing that? That's yep. so awesome. Man, ten thousand uh, dollars. You know, I can just you know, that's super awesome. Yeah. Like, you guys that is actually what they responded. need to start a whole nother care point pretty much. Like that's the number we started with a couple years ago as our goal because that's what it typically takes about $10,000 for them to start up a whole nother care point. Yeah, because the, these uh, care, have you talked much about the care points and stuff? Mm -hmm. or, yeah, but so. you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Yeah, so the um, care points, they just try to find a you know, a building within a local community area where they have, they try to aim for 50 kids when they launch a care point. Mm -hmm. um, and the $10,000 roughly give or more take uh, that it takes to launch it. That includes, you know, getting a lease or renting, you know, building, finding um, staff members that would then run that care point and they have a, um, a vetting process uh, that they go through and a, a lot of what I've seen local lo or, or recently is they are trying to recruit um, kids that have now grown out of the CHI sponsorship program and recruit them to then return the favor back to Christ Hope International and become um, uh, mentors, mentors mm -hmm. and become you know leaders who run these care points um, because they've lived through it or they've gone through that process themselves. So it gives them the ability to connect with the community, connect with, you know, the kids that are in the program or connect with the family members um, that kids are being sponsored. So that uh, would be super awesome. Maybe that's the uh, 2022 uh, goal. So yeah. That'd be super cool. And so. I don't think it would be hard for, like I said, I don't think it would be hard on our end at all to find 50 people who would want to do it it's no. just like what he was saying it's a whole process to get a care point started and then the kids that they find are they do need to meet criteria to be in the care point they're not just kids who are poor they're kids who are infected or affected by hiv so yeah they definitely i i've witnessed them intaking patients and intaking um people they care for and actually one guy they had to turn away because he, even though he was extremely sick, he was just positive for TB. He was he didn't actually have HIV. So they were there for him as, like, friends and loved on him while he was still in the hospital. But they were like, once you're better, you're better. Yeah. Thank God you're not one of our patients because that means you're not positive for HIV. So that's super cute, but I'm bummed that this isn't seamless. I might need to make sure you guys get the seamless one. I, I like that color. That. What color is that? This one is the Coral Kiss. So Coral Kiss. Coral Kiss is actually the color we had Prima Donna, which I kept telling Katie, like, I like Prima Donna, but it's not, like, my pink that I love. And so we came out with Coral Kiss because that's my pink. And then Blushing is my second pink, which this is Blushing. Uh, we need to keep these in the water. 
Can I use Icon stencil like vinyl and cut it out on Cricut? No. So I will do an Icon Art Stencil day where I show you guys how to use this, but there's some great tutorials on the internet already but they are it's just a light so you print it out on this film i do it at home because our printer's at home and then you expose it on a light and it takes like 30 seconds to expose it and then you wash it out and then you've got a reusable stencil it's night and day and it's reusable and i like this one was losing its stick a little bit so i just sprayed it with some reusable tacky spray and it just got its little stick back and it's all good to go. So they're reusable. As long as you wash them out, I end up going through a lot more stencils than you guys would because I'll use them in a live. And then I really want to make sure that's dry before I overlay it. Okay, I'm going to have you start on painting those guys. These the grow guys. With me. Yeah. The grow with me. Can you do it without getting it on the board? I believe in you. You can hold them up I and can. Like, paint them. Yeah. Yep. We're going to do them with uh, Americon. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't even have... This is Robin's egg. I don't even have Americon in here. I lied. So Robin's wow. egg. Which, I love that color too. It's not open yet. Shake it really good. Okay. Um, but I'm going to... Lauren B. donated. Bev Thank L. You, donated. Thank you, You guys are awesome. Keeping us pushing along maybe to the next thousand for another uh ticket to disneyland yep i don't know how to do this without waiting for it to dry unless i oh, skip I'll be careful spot. but tell me be careful okay maybe i'll just go i don't know this might look bad because it's not seamless but guess what it's wood and if i don't like it i can paint over it all again yep that's the cool part about wood and paint is if you don't like it Paint over it. Stephanie says, I would do the darkest color for words. For words? So navy? Maybe that would be darker than I want to start with that one and okay. see if we want. And then um, we can always paint and it, over Yeah, it. if you don't like it when it's all done, you can paint over it. Again. You do you, boo. Yep. <laughs> and the home line just works really awesome because there are all these really cute colors that work really well in the home. So this would, these would go in a nursery. I know Steph was like texting me all the ideas she had this morning so I went thick because I wanted to be like you and I think this brush just really I should be using don't they have do you have like a roller or something no a I really should printing. be using a stencil brush like this but it makes grow with me okay I want to make sure I painted the this side. is really how you should be stenciling with the stencil brush I was just using the other one because it was more fun to paint with that one this is just more work. Any comments going on over there? Um, let's see. People donating. Yay! These would be awesome in a doctor's office as well. Oh, that would be fun. And like just so the kids can see how tall they are. Rather than some generic like, here you go. Yeah, stand and you could do it to, the, to the theme of your like our our dentist has like a every dentist or doctor has like super cool theme. I feel, maybe more dentists. Doctors need to get on the branding like stuff like the dentists are. Yeah, I just went to some sterile dentist office when I was a kid. So did I. Oh, us children of the eighties and nineties. We didn't get surfboards to lay on and yeah, Nintendos to play on while we were waiting. Make bright or the girls is like they have massage chairs for the parents. That's the orthodontist. Yeah, That's a but little more they're like these parents are. But I feel like the orthodontist is less scary than the dentist. So do you want me to paint the whole edge, just the top or? Kind of like I like the dark. Yeah, the like, burnt the edges. Burnt edges. And it's really cool when you open I'll these. Make it define. It, it smells like a campfire because this is like laser cut wood. So it's super cool. Cynthia donated. Thank Chantel you, Cynthia. donated. Thank you, Chantel. I wonder if that's the Chantel we know. Is it with an S? No, with a C. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> Chantel is with an S, and the first letter of the last name is C. But it is with an S. Yes. Oh, so, okay. Maybe it's. I was like, well, if it's with a C, then no, it's not. But I, if it's with a C, maybe it is. What adhesive are you going to use to bond all the pieces together? Um, What's the best adhesive? I was just going to go hot glue, but <laughs> Stephanie, you got to. E6000? Yeah, you could do E6000, but 
Well, wood sticks really well to this, this paint. Six thousand. You could also hand paint the back if you'd like to. I just love stencils. So I'm getting kind of a rustic look with this because I just resprayed my whole um, thing, and I had a feeling like the the glue was going to be a little bit hard to get through. So, like I said. Stephanie loves her Icon Art stencil maker too, but I, I don't know if Steph has mastered it, but like I am still learning like, okay, dry them right away and do that. So when I know how to use all of it, like a pro, I will talk about it like I'm a pro. Good morning from SAC. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. This is the last day to donate and enter into the prizes, guys. And we are closing it off at midnight PST tonight. Which made me realize, when are we going to start counting stuff like, in the middle of the night? <laughs> Stephanie said she used E Gorilla Glue on one and E6000 on another. Okay. So the question would be, which one worked better? They probably worked just as well, both. Yeah. You could use wood glue. You could use lots of different types of adhesives would work. You this could... paint goes a long ways. He's new here. Yeah, it goes a very I've just long used way. the lid so far. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like what you told me in the beginning. I know. Have you, have I never done a project with yes, you? Yes, we've done plenty. But, but not like a Katie project? A creative sister project? Yeah. What have we done? I don't know. We haven't. Yeah, we have. What have we done? I'd have to think about it. Yeah, no, we haven't. Just go back and look at your videos. We have not ever done a Katie project. Okay. Did Tiff finish the cricket? She did not. She's going to be working on it for the next few days, so we'll pick a winner, but she still has some bling to do, and then we're going to um, ask that person, whoever wins, if they want us to sign it or whatever, but we will, as soon as she's done with it, we're going to get it out to you. April M., thank you for the donation. Uh, Party of Five said, Starbond Medium goes with different tips for small pieces. Star bond medium. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that is. Probably an adhesive glue. Gotcha. Can I have the grow over there, please? You can have the grow. It's going to be super repetitive. Maybe I should turn it. Layla G donated. Duh. Thank you. What am I doing with my life? I should turn them so then it's a little different and it's not super repetitive. Okay, I'm going to come back over here and do this side now. How are we doing on sales on these, Steph? Have you sold any more? I'm trying to do it justice, but. Do what justice? This this kit. If I ruin it, it's my fault. Why are you ruining it? I'm not going to ruin it. I'm just saying if it doesn't look good, it's going to be my fault. Oh, it'll look great. Thanks. I might go in and like hand paint in the middle of them to give them a little bit more of like a seamless look and I'll make sure any other stencils I come out with are actually seamless someone said I was wondering how I can get the free files are there free files that you're giving away to when people donate every file every purchase comes with a file and then it emails you the download so that's how you would get them if you've already donated you have all those files too so I believe there's a way to download them on my website, but the easiest thing people have been saying is you just get emailed the link with all the files. And then just do it through your email. Download it, yeah, through your email. And then um, if you're a member, we have tons and tons of files. Yeah, we're going to have to um, do some damage control with this. So I... Just go for it go for what like some of it's like solid looking some of it yeah not. it's like, i feel like it's it's kind of cool and i'll just kind of layer it yeah. and i mean that's what a giraffe is right a giraffe is like kind of right not always unified like their spots don't always look the same the giraffes are the coolest animal to see on safari let me just tell you and their patterns like there are patterned giraffes that are like this where it's like a blob and then there's like these really intricate patterned giraffes that are like veiny stars i don't know if anybody has noticed that but there's like there are giraffes that are crazy cool looking am i all done painting this color i think so 
I got the grow with me. Yeah, you can let it dry. So and... those of us that just join us, you want to explain what this kit is and how they can get one? This is the grow with me kit, and you can get it on Stephanie's website, which is linked in the description. She's only got 20 available. and She's, she's got 14 available. She has 14 available, um, and they are, you'll see more of what you get from her in the stuff that uh, Dustin is painting right now is what you get. So you get the little notches and the grow with me, and then you have to get a board from wherever. You can do a fence board. You don't, you can put these, uh, Stephanie has ideas for them. I don't know if she wants me to share all of her ideas because she was going to share them on Instagram today. But um, there's lots of things you can do with them. And then those are actually going to be painted. Um, I have, this is the dot. Oh, that's the dot. Look at you. Yeah, you know Stephanie's it. got our back. That's the thing is you. I'm just reading. You cheap, act cheap. dumb, but you know how to do all of this stuff. It's good. It you know how to do all this. That's why I I'm so hard on you because I'm like quit it, quit right now. Is this the right side? Whereas like not? Tiffany genuinely doesn't do crafts, so I'm like of course she doesn't understand. You know that you work with wood all the time. I don't know. Put it on. That's right. Yeah. There we go. All right. People miss crafting with the hubs, babe. The cool thing about something like this is if you, you're not really a crafter and you, you want it like a DIY type gift, this would make it super easy. Right. And For then... people like me. Wait, what? What do you mean people like you? Like, I couldn't just go, hey, I'm going to create a grow with me board. Like, this well, would yeah. be way easier getting a kit that's already cut out for you. Yeah. Like, you're not going to find a kit like this at Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. You might, but you're not supporting a small business when you do that. Yeah, that is very Not true. that it's not bad to support businesses in general. Thank you, Ashley, for donating. Thank you, Ashley. Someone asked, anything cool going on with the anti Tay influencers? Uh, did Stephanie ask that? No. Oh. One of the people. Yes, who are highlighting today. We opened my text message up. Yep. We have three influencers that we are highlighting today. Let's, it takes a second. Yeah, why are you getting the wheelie thing? Now it matters because it bothers you when you're on it. I'm always like, oh, I got the rainbow wheel. He's like, whatever. Okay, what do we have? We've got Ivy from Ivy Pink Maid. She is giving away a Target gift card. What? Who doesn't love Target? Who? Nobody doesn't love Target. Jess from Embellished Education is giving away a keychain. And Haley. Haley from The Foiled Plan, who also is one of our designers and has a featured page on our website with her designs, is giving away a custom digital portrait. So if you want to support them, they are tagged in every single Instagram post this week. Check all of our influencers out because they're amazing. If you ever want to see my products in amazing action, my influencers are who to follow because they use our paint. They use our bling. They use everything that we have. And so they're always coming out with really creative ways to use all of our products. Okay. You're almost there, babe. I know. I just... It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. When, no, it blends. when you turn it, it blends. blends, and then I'm going to go in and really touch and stuff. But I kind of like the sketchiness of it because then it doesn't look, like, super off when... Can you see that? It's so cute. And it's a giraffe because giraffes are tall. And it's Africa. You get it? All the cute things. <laughs> Whatever. I get too excited about dumb things like that. I bypassed the crafting with the hubs comment. I didn't catch that one. You ignored me. You ignored me. Sorry. I ignored you? <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm sorry. I said people miss crafting with the hubs. Oh. Yeah. I was busy, like, <laughs> reading the comments. You're busy ignoring me again. I can only do one thing at a time. So you can't do crafting with the hubs? I'd, uh, that's up to you. What do you mean it's up to me? You can invite I'm not me the hubs. anytime. I'm always here. I do, and then you're like, nah, I'm busy. I got stuff to do. Well, if you're like, hey, a Tuesday at 10 a.m. can come do crafting with the hubs. Have we ever done Tuesday at 10 no, a.m.? I'm just saying. Have we? When did we mm -hmm. used to do crafting with the hubs? It was like a 5 p.m. show. Yeah. You do know when we yeah. have no kids, like they're grown, and we don't have much to do. Like, Dude, we'll just do this. You're going to be 
we'll go on the road. Present. We'll pack up the dogs and we'll do anti Tay uh, lives on the road yeah. in our crafty RV. with the hubs. But you do know my community would expect a DIY RV, not a brand new RV. Yeah, well, this we is can where stuff like we this. differ on so many levels. But this one, I want an RV like a trait, like a like a horse trailer that you revamp because duh i'm a diyer he's like no we need the bougie if we're gonna be sitting in it you need to be working uh in the big captain's chair and i'm like no i want to be in a horse trailer with like hey, hey, babe, pattern pillow can you get some more sawdust for the uh, compost toilet yeah i'm not about that you can go <laughs> to the bathroom and the like anywhere you want i want the renovated like travel trailer uh, let's see. I was using Robin's egg. Yeah, Erica isn't that pretty? Asking. It is. So Americana is very similar to all these, but it's a little bit this more. Is egg. Americana is a little bit more like um, American. -like. I like the burnt edges. It makes it like. You would hot. love a glow forge, but I would not want to clean it. That's the one thing. Everything I see, I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to clean that. Oh, all you have the to time. clean it out every time you. Oh get yeah, it. and it starts fires, and it's just ugh. There you go. Courtney's on my side. She's down with the bougie RV. So do you want to see us travel in a few years in a bougie RV or a revamped RV? We should do that. It would be, let's see, what year would that be? 2027? Well, when our kids, are, what do you mean? Both of our kids are out of school? Yeah. Um, Six years six from years now? Six years from now. We're going to, what, what? You have a job. We, we could do, I, I'll have another sabbatical by then. Oh, okay. So for my next sabbatical, we'll do a... Uh, Cross country anti Tay meetup. That was our uh, goal for my, this sabbatical. Well, there was that and thing called COVID, COVID happened. Yeah. Plus, we were not in the business to be buying an RV right now when we yep. are still renovating our home. Ugh. Yep. But I don't know. Would they even be interested in that? Would I be interested in that? Anybody care about what I want in this? <laughs> I don't necessarily want to be stuck there doing all that. Just kidding. You don't want to meet all these awesome people. Oh, yeah. Do a tour. Can I get my face on the side of the bus like this? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> With bling. And I want, Follow I want it wrapped like... in holographic wrap. That would be pretty cool. Right? Like, a, would it be pink or like a blue? This is what we do. We just dream and make up plans. Uh, I don't know what color it would be. It'd be See, that's the other thing, though. If we got one that had to be renovated, guess what's going to happen, babe? I'm not going to do it. It's never going to get done. <sighs> if it was Aren't the one thing I'm working on, it would get done. No, wait. You wouldn't be doing it. I would be doing it. Uh -oh. I, finish pro I finish some projects. I don't finish all projects. You finish a lot. Probably a higher percentage than I do. Not really. Uh, my projects are just a lot smaller, so I can push them under the rug, and no one notices I didn't finish something. You could bling out the rims. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll bling everything. I'll have all the influencers. Just, like, driving down the freeway, and all of a sudden, ting, ting. You got bling, bling See, it off your rims. you're such a buzzkill. <laughs> like, why do you have to go that route? Because that would be it awesome. It would be awesome to have blinged rims. Like, eat my bling. My bling will not fall off. We're going to mm. use liquid fusion. What is that? We, you see, you can't you can't talk about how bling will come off if you don't even know that the, if it will or not. Gotcha. Keep don't, painting. Don't buzz. You better you better keep painting. Here's oh. some more letters, numbers. and no. here's some of these. These are called numbers. They're hieroglyphs. They're hieroglyphs. Jeez, Louise. I actually enjoy. I'm gonna just about start that. purposely saying things completely wrong just to make you so annoyed. Are you projecting on me? I don't get annoyed when you say things mm -hmm. wrong. I didn't announce it of like 20 sentences ago. You said something really wrong, and I was like, I'm not going to say anything. Let's see if anybody... Commented? Yeah, or donated. You could read the comments out loud. Everybody's just laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see if I get kicked off the show. You're not going to get kicked off the show. I might leave the show, but you're not going to get kicked I will stay behind and finish this. All right. Okay, so here, I'm going to move this down a bit. Am I using the Robin Day? Oh, and I can't move it down a bit. I'm on the window. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to move down a little bit? Uh, maybe, yeah. Thanks, Brandy, for donating. No, no, donating. not Robin Day on those. I want to do navy on the letters. Oh, you want to do navy? All right. We're yeah. changing it up. We're changing it up. So I'm done Maybe, and then Day. I'm going to do like navy polka dots on the grow with me. 
I'm gonna put them on first to see if I like if I want more patterned. Maybe white polka dots would be cute. I wonder where our totals at. Does, does we we update the total at the end, but sometimes oh, Stephanie end. will say you, like how you. far away we are from our next prize. Y'all yeah. have been working hard this week, so we can be patient. Yeah, we have. But it wouldn't all happen without the awesome people in nope. the community. Not so, at all. It's always something to appreciate. Of course it is. I couldn't do any of it without them. There's a big old comment. What does that say? What? I'm reading that. What? Are you serious? Those are the good ones. See, I'm in control of Read the comments. Read that. I had a fancy RV. It was so not... You don't want to read it. You don't want to read it because it says, I had a fancy RV. It was so not functional for me. I ended up buying one that I gutted and remodeled to be functional. Well, maybe you can... Dustin, um... don't control the situation to be what you want it to be. We've been together a very long time. I literally knew exactly why he wasn't reading that comment. <laughs> Dang it. I'm going to put a little bit on this thing. So I can come back to it. That's smart. I love the navy against the blushing. So cute. This will be in the Antite studio. So if anybody ever comes and visits me, their kiddos can take a picture of themselves. Or you can. Because I'll never outgrow well, this thing. Well, you got to be under six foot. Well, I will never outgrow this thing. I will always be under six feet. Guarantee you. Thank you, Cassie, for a donation. Thank you, Cassie. Two Wild Roses Boutique called me a comment skimmer. Yeah, she's probably cringing, cringing at how you're reading the comments. <laughs> Tiffany. Thanks, Melissa, is great for your at donation. <laughs> you're great. KDD donated. I feel like this is just like slaughter, Dustin. Hey, you know what? I can take it. I know. Okay, I need you to either flip the... Yeah, let's flip the board. Flip the board? All right, let me finish the number two. I got to work quickly because this paint will dry in my cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Tell me about those cracks. They will have dried paint in them. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so Thanks. I'm spinning it? Yeah, I'm making you do all the heavy work, heavy oh, lifting. Man. That's all you're so good for. So tough. Because, you know, you're a man. Yeah, do manly what, things. What, is, what do I do because I'm a woman? Uh, you said I'm a woman, so I do something better or something. Wait, that's kind of... No, <laughs> it's over there. It's okay. What were you wanting? I needed that end. Oh. But well, I guess I was closer to this end. It's fine. I just need to get... I don't know what I'm wanting. Yeah. I don't know what I want. Oh. <sighs> I just need to get these edges. You get them, girl. I am going to get them. What do you say I couldn't do or I could do because I'm a woman? I don't know. I'm you said not, something. I was, being, was I being sexist? No. Maybe. I don't remember if it was a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even remember now. Well, we're still married, so it must I just remember the that. feeling I had. You had a feeling? Yeah. Tell me about that feeling. Let's see. <laughs> you, never mind. Stephanie said she will always be 5'6". She will always be 5'6". Yeah. I bet don't I, we start shrinking at a certain age? It's, it's like, an inside joke. Oh, don't get it. But yeah, I think we do start shrinking, but Stephanie will always be 5'6". She might grow a little bigger because she might still be getting taller. Gotcha. She magically grows when she wants to. <laughs> Went from crafting with the hubs to quarreling with the DeVrens. Quarreling with the DeVrens? <laughs> no, no, no. That could be... Who said that, Tiff? No. Oh. Uh, Erica. Erica. Little bit Lene. Lenny? Lenny? A little bit Laney? Yeah. I think it's Laney. Laney. Mm-hmm. But yeah. And that could make a home show right there. Quarreling with the DeVrens? Please don't. I, <laughs> we're working really hard on not having an arguing culture in our lives. With two teenage girls? Oh my gosh, it's the worst. Teenage life. This really reminds me of like 80s um, sponge painting when that was really a big popular thing in the 90s. It was like late 90s when you'd sponge paint your walls. That's what this reminds me of. I could have sponge painted this, but I want it to be draft. Who is Two Wild Roses Boutique? Tiffany. Oh. 
<laughs> this is why it gets annoying because I'm like, how much don't you know about the world of Auntie Tay? Well, I'm not, you know, keeping You're track. not what, married to me? I'm married to you, but I'm like, hey, how? <laughs> what's the uh, name of all of your influencers? Tiffany! No, Babe, no, no, Tiffany, no, no, I'm about my cousin. It doesn't say Tiffany. It says Two Wild Roses Boutique. <laughs> Which is our boutique. <laughs> I'm not shopping you, on a woman's boutique. Dustin DeVrend, you do know that, though. Oh, my god. If I probably thought hard about it, I would know. No, you don't even have to think hard. That's It's Tiffany. That's I, like, I okay, that I hope that makes Stephanie feel better because Stephanie's worked with me for like two and a half years now. And there was one time when I said something and Dustin was like, well, does Stephanie craft? And I was like, I can't even. I can't even right now. So. Thank you, Courtney, for donating. Thank you, Courtney, for donating. In the Courtney midst of donating. quarreling with the DeVren. You know what matters a, is Dustin knows all about Jesus, and he knows all about Christ Hope International and Africa. So. I do. That part is what matters this week. Yep. We'll work on him catching up on. What was I telling you about this morning? And I, I literally saw you, your wheels turning, and I was like, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? And you're like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, you're talking about your kit. Oh, I was the talking about my mystery, mystery box, box for Halloween. Out. I was like, do you remember how we, because he's like, okay, catch me up. What are we doing? I was like, a Glowforge project, kind of like the mystery box that he came out with for Halloween, you know, those little wood things that were cut out, and he was just like, uh-huh. And I was like, you have no idea what my mystery box was for Halloween, do you? And he's like, yeah, I do. I was like, no, you It was don't. a Glow 4G thing. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I would deal with. This is my this is my daily. I challenge all of them. Craft with your husband. <laughs> and see how, it, see how that goes. I, okay, first of all, it's not my craft. It's my business, babe. <laughs> Oh, and just man. quiz them. Be like, hey, grab that. These are human beings. This is Tiffany. Grab that liquid adhesive, whatever you called it. All right. And then they'll look at you like, what? What are you talking about? Just, what? Just, what do you know, mean, grab it? Me. I'm trying my best. Okay. Thank you, Catherine, for donating. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Catherine. I should have been using the small one, but I feel like the small one would get in the cracks. I feel like it's this brush that's the issue. This builds marriage. Like this, this oh, yeah, we're getting so built up totally right now. build your marriage up, crafting together. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriella, for donating. You're awesome. Oh, I got to move right. this down now, for reals. I'm teaching my hubs to crochet. Ooh, Man. I don't know about I don't know if I would have patience for that. No, you wouldn't. I tried to teach the girls and they're And you just, lost your patience with that. I didn't. They lost their patience more than I lost their patience my yeah. patience. I was like, you've gotta do it like that. You know, it's one of those crafts that you've gotta like get used to how it feels and then walk away and then come back and your brain kinda does the work while you're while you've walked away. And I tried to explain that. Landis came back to it, Briley gave up. Friday's not much of the crafter, though. No, she's not. She, no, she, I can see her doing a lot of graphic work. She loves graphics. Yeah. Pictures, design. Oh, that one worked, like, amazing. I gotta figure out this stencil technique. I gotta work on this. I'm shook that you don't know my YouTube, oh, that's Tiffany again. <laughs> she's shaming me. Yeah. I would Erica too. said, yeah, uh, wait, where'd that comment go? Yeah, I couldn't craft with the hubs. His blinging skills are horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you broke the wax tip for the 10th time. <laughs> well, the funny part is Dustin knows how to do a lot of things. Like, you know how to sew. I taught you how I to did. sew. I learned how to sew in high school. Yeah, I taught him how to sew in high school. And then. Yeah, yeah tell that story. You're like, what? hey, I want to make like purses. Can we move and that like, and that and that and that? I'm going to move support this down. you. And you taught me, and then I just started busting out purses for you. So, okay, I need everything to move so I can move the board that way. Okay. I'm working on it. Thanks. Um, yeah, you did. You, We were in high what? school, and the thing about Dustin is he's just an entrepreneur. He likes businesses, so it doesn't matter, like, what the business is. He just likes the idea of the business. So when... Um, I wanted to make purses. He was all for that. And he was like, yeah, let me help you bust out some purses and you'll make more and you'll be able to sell more. And 
just didn't work out. The person's, like... I I was no April from Tis So Sweet. I was no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See, I know who April is. Yeah. Okay, I, but you don't know who Tiffany is. I, you said April from Tis So Sweet. Okay. You, you didn't say Tiffany, Tiffany from Two Wild Roses Boutique. Correct. Okay. 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 You got it now. So from now on, I will call Tiffany and, Tiffany from Two Wild Roses Boutique. And April, when you got your bag, you're like, dang, this is like professional. You don't have to save yourself. I know. I was never an April from Tis So Sweet. I get it. I agreed. I started the comment. But I bet April started somewhere. That's of course. the thing. With every crafting and skill that you do, you got to start somewhere. You're you so gotta encouraging. Be, well, you got to be willing to fail. Like, that's the thing. You I don't fail think we failed. I just, we weren't fail, making really, we weren't making that cool bags. And, like, we, we, then we moved on. I moved on to Blinging. And Dustin, like, invested in a ton of stuff for me to make blinged flip-flops. Remember? hmm Yeah. That was... See, he saw the business part of it, and I was like, I don't want to necessarily do flip-flops, because there was a mom doing flip-flops at the gym, and she was selling her flip-flops for, like, $70 a pop, and then he, like, ran the numbers. He was like, hey, if you did these, we could get them for this much, and he ended up ordering me, like, all this bling and... All the stuff, and it was just... I have supported you since the very beginning. My you life. support me when you see, like, an opportunity <laughs> in it. Oh, yeah? You have never helped me with YouTube much. What have you... I mean, yes, you've gone to, like... You went to VidCon with me. I helped you get your highest... Oh, gosh. ...video. How about you're that? You're right. You're right. You it shows up for the good part. without me. You're right. He... Of... Teaching a noob how to use a machine. Actually, my epoxy video has surpassed you. Ooh. So. The, the one where, like, you shared the dangers of it. Yeah, which is good. That because is then good. people know the dangers of epoxy. Yep. Um, All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, thank you for speaking to my heart again this year. I just signed up to sponsor Evans in Kenya. Uh, oh, that's Kate. You rock, Kate. Thank you. Kate, uh, Kate do you know what care point um, he was at in Kenya? Or he is at? His smile just melted my heart. Oh, I love All it. All their smiles do. I know we now sponsor five, mm-hmm. five kiddos. Not even kids. Like yeah, Emmanuel's. Emmanuel's 20. like a man. Yeah, because <laughs> he's the same age as my nephew. My nephew has children now, so he is he's getting older. Uh, Elia, Elia donated. Thank, Thank you, Elia. You. We are totally going to hit the 15,000 goal. We're so close, which I think... Who said that? um, Tiffany did. I think someone mentioned that we were close to 11,000. Are we close to 11,000, guys? So if after this whole fundraiser's over, you want to get more involved with Christ Over to National... Follow them on Instagram. Check out their website. Um, you can sponsor a kid if there are some available on the website. So if you want your own sponsored kiddos, that is a way to do that. If you want your church to get involved, talk to whoever's in charge of partnering with organizations because they're always looking to partner with different churches and have opportunities for churches to go on trips to Africa. Um, if you've ever wanted to go to Africa, they're an amazing organization to go with. So we are only two hundred and forty away from eleven thousand. We're gonna add another Disney dollars. ticket. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Hey, and April's on here from Tis So of Sweet. Of course she is. She's a great supporter of everything. Hey, April. Let's see what else is going on. She said, thanks for knowing me, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's, yeah. Well, if you guys want, like, an awesome bag, maybe there's your place to go. Or get we an awesome should do bag a, for your wife. Okay, we're going to play a game. But I doubt many. We're going like, to play a game. Okay. It's going to be called Influencer or Not. Oh. Okay? I'm going to say a name. It might be their personal name. It might be their handle. But you can let me know if they're one of my influencers. And if I get them wrong, this has not. nothing to do with the influence. If he gets it wrong, just remember he got my own cousin's boutique. Yeah, remember he didn't that. didn't know who her boutique was. Yep. 
So we're 230 away now from 11. Woo! Let's do it. Let's play a game until we get there. How All many right. Disney tickets are tickets are being given away now? Every like total. Every Stephanie, how many? Yeah, every thousand. But when did we start it? We started at seven thousand, I believe. I know because it's really hard for me to get right there. Oh, okay. All right. You um, could try to do it. Do you want to do it? Sam, thanks for the donation. Thank you, Sam. Is that some okay? Are you ready? All right. Shell of a shop boutique. Um great crafter. Wait, stop. More than influencer. Wait. Great crafter more than influencer? Yeah. Name? Sam. <laughs> Did she just answer? No. Okay, does I was wondering if that was her. I was like, that would be an easy one. No, you know why I know that? Why? Because when you get crafts, because mm -hmm. she's on your crafting team mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. she ships them to you, and I usually pick up the package, and she's got her own branding on Ooh, the outside of the box. Look at you guys getting, figuring out why you guys are known. I love that. Okay. Kind of like. Okay. All things scrappy or all things craft hay? All things craft hay. Yeah? And that is, give me the first letter of the name. <laughs> T. Oh. I know the person. Would liquid fusion work on this? Because that's the only glue I have up here, now that I'm thinking about it. You know the person? Yeah. Okay. Um, because they live close to us, right? They do. Okay. Yeah. See, he Anyways, does know. That person is a. Her name is influencer. All things craft tay, and craft it has tay. nothing to do with me. Correct. So, what do you think her and name is? Doesn't she primarily do tumblers? She does uh or sublimation kind of and okay. tumblers. And then her name starts with T. Mm-hmm. And it's all things craft tay. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, her name's Taylor. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'm two for two now. Okay, do you want to try to stencil that end or push this down here and I'll try to just reach over you, please? Mm -hmm. I'll just get yep, close. We'll just slide okay. aside. It's so hard. It's hard which prize to choose to buy a raffle ticket for. You can buy well, from multiple. You can do multiples, but just know every raffle ticket you get is going to a awesome cause. Yeah. Of supporting Christ Hope International. Buy a ticket for all of them. Yeah. This is drying. The paint is drying in this stencil, so you kind of want to work quickly if you're using paint that dries fast. Yep. All right, who's the next one? Um, okay. The Craft Scraps or Ivy Pink Made? Well, Ivy Pink Made is one of your influencers. Okay. But is the Craft Scraps? I don't know. The name sounds familiar. Okay. It, she is. She is. She's one of our OG influencers. Oh, uh, is that... Give me the first letter of the first name. An L. Lauren. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Who is our newest Lauren on our team? Newest Lauren? You wouldn't know this one yet. Okay. These are lines. Are yeah, I don't know. Nuts. Lauren Quigley from Lauren Quigley Creations. And she makes epoxy-free tumblers with... Uh, bright tone. Bright tone is the chemical or whatever. It's not a chemical. It's a water base. You can use it oh, in your house. Cool. And she's military, so they have small quarters that she can work in, and they move yeah. a lot. So she's only able to do that, and um, her kids are around, so she has to be safe with it. So that's awesome. She's on our influencer team to show off how to use a lot of our products with tumblers. And thank you for serving our country. In the military. Yeah. Is she actually she's in spouse. the military? Or she's spouse. Well, yeah. But they're still. Do they sacrifice more than the military peeps? I feel like sometimes. What spouses? Yeah. Heck yeah. Just to have yeah. to up and move whenever your spouse, spouse's career changes, basically. Yep. Okay, I'm trying to seamlessly make these seams look better, but if I do it too much, the sketchiness yeah, then, will go away. Yeah, I think. Yep. Okay. Let's get too blotchy. I would maybe, like, just wash it, take a break. I don't know. I'm still mastering the Icon Art stencils. 
Okay, so do you want to do the measuring or the girl with me might be ready? Yeah. Do I need to paint the dashes? Oh, yeah. What are you doing with your life you over never, there? You told me to paint the numbers. Sorry. I follow your instructions. Do the dashes with, um, let's just do them with Americana. I mean, Robin's egg. This is Robin's egg. Robin. Robin. While we let this dry. What 120 it, away. We're 120 11, from $11,000. Plus, we have the donations from Stephanie's kits. So, if you want to get one of these kits, get one of these kits. Um, and the donations from Melissa's cards. So, don't forget to pick those up for special people in your life. I think her name is Nate. She said, I'm cracking up with you two. Would never craft my hubs. I'll probably hang him. Right. <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely a, uh, it's a humbling moment. <sighs> crazy trust exercise gotta, or something. You gotta humble yourself. You want a new, girl? Pe a new one? No, you want a new right one? here, right here. We're good. You gotta dry it. Oh, you do? Well, yeah, otherwise your paint's gonna be watered down and oh. not as, not as, like, colored as yep. it's supposed to be. Great. You're killing me with the, leaving the brushes out. See, that's what, it's, I might get hung next. No. Or kicked out. I need you in my Booted. life. He's who I go home to every day to go, I'm tired. Now listen to all my problems. I'm there now. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like being that person? Or should that's I find it, a new person to talk to you about? That's what spouse is for. Yeah. Right? Yep. With our brushes. When you say, I do, that's like, you know, comes with all, every, all everything. Everything? Yeah. What are you trying to say? What is The good come days, with? the bad days, great health, poor health. Yep. A little craziness and a little Nobody's happiness. Nobody's crazy. Nobody's crazy here. Well, life can be crazy. I'm like, kidding. I'm joking. We were reflecting on that, or I was talking about that last night when we were at dinner. It was, um, like, it seemed like life was a little more simpler when oh, we just had so two simpler. two little babies at home, which I get. You're like, you have kids that need your attention all the time, but now with teenagers and... We're both working. It's like, what was the comment I made to you? Um, oh, no, you were saying you were always like struggling to find out, okay, what are we going to do to keep the day busy? Yeah. And I've, now I've, you're like, now you're struggling. Like, can I even find two hours in my life to, to do something? Yeah. Like to paint a chalkboard wall yeah. in our house. Yeah. The, when the kids were little, it was like, you wake up and you're like, okay, we were talking about going to the gym, I think. And yeah. how I used to go to the gym a lot and just... Because you can only um, go for two hours. Yeah, you can only go for two hours when you had the kids. And then you could take a... If you were gone for two hours, you could come back for another two hours. But, like, the gym was our saving grace because they had the pool. They had um, other kids for my kids to play with. They had um, areas I could go in and just chill and be alone for ten minutes if I needed to. So I highly suggest a gym membership if you can. Um, I and mean, if you have a cool gym membership, gym around you. But when you have littles, it kept me sane. But... Yeah, I just, I, I remember just waking up and be like, okay, we got 14 six to 16 hours to uh, entertain two kiddos. So what are we going to do? But I miss those days a lot. Yeah. I miss the, the excuse to just kind of have a slower paced life. Not that there's, I can't do that now. Well, it goes by super quick. So if you're all sitting here, like you've been having a stressed out week from having littles driving you nuts or whatever. I would probably exchange that for older attitudes. Yeah, the one thing I've noticed, guys, is, okay, so you know you're going through, like, the trenches with the littles, right? And you, you, there are so many people who've gone ahead of you who are like, one day you're going to miss this. One day you're going to miss it. Just embrace it. They grow up so fast. They're so little. Not one person has said that to me as my kids are teenagers. I'm like, oh, my gosh, teenagers' years are hard. Not one of my, like, mentor moms has ever been like, yep, you're going to miss this. Like, one day you're going to wake up and be like, I miss my teenagers. Nope. I think they, if they say anything, they say, like, they miss having kids in their house. Yeah, like, like the noise or, like, I actually like having elements of uh, teenagers. Are these going Robin's egg, too? Yeah. I, I actually like um, having, like, the girls' friends over and going on, like, trips with kids who can, like, take care of themselves getting in and out of the car and stuff but like yeah man there's stuff about the teenagers i'm like i'm not gonna miss that but they are we have really good kids yeah. they they are more often than not 
really good kids. Yeah. They are. And part of that is just making sure you're... It's just funny. You're like, dang, I don't know where that kid got that little... <laughs> yeah, the most, most of the attitude, you're like, okay... You sound just like me, or you sound just like your dad. <laughs> oh, or when, because we've been together since we were teenagers, too, so we were like... We have? Hmm. What? Yep. I don't know where I've been for all that. You don't know where you've been? No, I'm joking. Oh. So this is still kind of drying. I also want to do another coat on the grow with me, because can you share the Robin's so egg? So Stephanie said, put the foot marker and the foot and half foot markers on first, then numbers, what? because... The G of grow fits between the markers. Got it. Okay. You got that? So put the markers on first. Yes. Okay. So I want to do another coat of this too. So can you share oh. the Americana or Robin's egg? Is that what we put on that? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. You did is. Robin's egg, right? Well, it's Not... right there, right? Yeah, but we also have teal. I didn't use teal okay. at all. They dry sometimes a lot dark, like darker or lighter sometimes depending on the color. April is the best with bags. I oh, yeah. I two already. Yeah, April, your bag is my crochet bag. I'm so excited I found, like, a reason to have to carry it around because I, not that I carry it around, but, like, my purse, I'm, like, obsessed with my one little purse, and I'm trying to be minimal, but I'm, like, I need something really important to go in this bag, and my crochet has been something I can take with me wherever I want to go. And See, then when I, what? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm having a squirrel moment. It's okay. No, no, no. Go finish your thought. Just saying, like, if I take it on, like, a trip, like, in the plane or something, then I get to take a super cute bag with me. So my squirrel moment was Christmas is coming up. Uh-huh. And oh. I, I'm horrible at buying gifts and getting I know. gifts. So. No, I, <laughs> well, I know. No, no. That's not what I meant. But I, I'm DIY stuff is kind of hard because I, I'm pretty sure April's closed for orders. No, no, no. I'm not. Christmas. Uh, Okay, well, whatever. There's like whatever. twenty more influencers. We're all my point for being Christmas orders. My point being, I'm ruining your sign. Why are you doing that? Because I'm not good at this. Then what? stop touching it, please. What? My my point being is, I like it when you give me like, hey, I would really like this for a gift. Oh, like Just when I tell it you so what much I want. Easier, yeah. But we're doing something different this year. What does that mean? Oh, we are. Yeah. I was just giving. You know, I get it. You're you're saying. Oh wait, you want an April back? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she makes gun range bags. May, you know what? That might start a man line right there. A man line, like we need more stuff to add to the no, membership. We need to pack out what no. we already have. But I, she has. She made you a bag. She made you the travel bag. Yes. I'm using that color. I Open it up and put it back. Making sure it wasn't drying out. <laughs> all right, Thank let's you. see. What do we got? Uh, Jana said, wait until they all move out. I've had five boys, and now I'm down to one still home. I would take them all back if they uh, came back. Yeah, some people love their good food. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love my kids. Yeah. Well, I do love We them. haven't experienced... Well, we know someone who's recently gone through, you know, they're becoming empty nesters. and We know a lot of, all of our mentor parents are yeah. empty nesters basically now because, I mean, working with high schoolers, um, when our kids were, we started working with junior high when Landis was 10 months old. So I was, I've been blessed to have all of the youth parents yeah. To know, like, okay, don't do not do it. Like, this kid's parent and this kid's parent, like, pick their brain. What did you do? My favorite mentor of all time, though, gives all glory to God. And she's like, I don't know. My kids are just, uh, I pray for them. Like, honestly, like, that's the best advice I've ever been given. Pray for them. Yep. All right, what else we got going on? Um... Bah, bah, bah. Five if we hit 11K. Oh, that's the tickets. Disneyland tickets. Five when we hit 11K. We will have five tickets. You like how I say that? Because we're going to hit 11K. Courtney said I stole one of her bag plans. Courtney said you stole Probably one of her bag plans? Oh, bag. a range gun? No, not a range gun. A range gun bag. See? I, same thing. I don't know what you're talking about. A range gun? Oh, 
Uh, could you please say what files go with what price so I can purchase the ones I missed? Each, oh, that's one, a... each listing has the file listed in it. I don't remember exactly which file goes with which, but they all, they has it in the description. We can revisit this one again. How do we get files with a donation? They come to your email. Yes, you'll get emailed a link and that is the best way to download it. Um, oh, and Stephanie's answering that too. Yeah. Kudos to Dustin for being the first person to pronounce my business name correctly. What was it? Little Bit Lene. Oh, I've been saying it wrong always. You guys can always correct me, guys. You said it Lene? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I've been saying it wrong my whole life. Gosh, how horrible are you? Little Bit Lene. 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 I need to remember that. Lene. Little not Bit Lene. I'm not going to say it the way I used to say it because then it's going to reinforce me saying it wrong. Little bit Lene. Yeah. Little bit Lene. If you're a business member, tell me and I'll sing your name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is there more that I can paint? Um, those will need a second coat. You can continue that second oh, coat. Okay. Or you don't have to. Uh, or you could start measuring where we need to put this stuff. Or That's pretty simple and quick. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'll finish painting. What kind of glue? It. What about liquid fusion? Can we use liquid fusion? It says it works on all surfaces. Well, what do you mean that means then? That it works on all surfaces. Are you being rude? No. <laughs> I think you answered the question yourself. I get it. It's okay to say things that are obvious, you know? Uh, we all say it wrong. Sorry. Well, look, I hope you all Business membership sing. Okay, Laura is faith, hope, and books. Faith, hope, and books. Faith, hope, and books. You gotta get your crochet from your faith book. But you also make, what else? You make um, lots of things that are all book-related things, right? Faith, hope, and books. <laughs> this is my life right here. What? You, you were singing? You were I singing. never sing. You were singing, I think, when you were putting your laundry in the washing machine. Yesterday, the day before, and I was sitting next to Brian, and she's just like... I was in the bathroom. I was going to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you for making you it sound like I wasn't, but... <laughs> you were in the bathroom singing. Uh-huh. And uh, Brian leans over, and she goes, you're never going to miss that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I'm not like, growing up and leaving the house. I don't know. That's not what she said. Yes, it is. You're never going to miss that? Yep. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, she gets to miss it and you don't. That's what she meant. Like, when she moves out, she's going to uh, miss it. Maybe. And you're never going to get the experience to miss me singing. I took it as she was saying how awesome her mom is that she sings wherever she That's goes. That's what I'm saying. She's going to, she she's never going to, she gets to miss it one day. You don't get to miss it. You're with yep. me forever. Forever, girl. You will have to hear me sing for the rest of your life. I sing a lot. <laughs> What, what, any other business members want me to sing their name? Um, great jingle for Laura. You're hired. Let's make an infomercial. Girl, I got so many infomercial ideas. I want, like, Tip, between Tip and I, we would be the next Billy Mays. Kate said, I love being a Tay business member. Beehive Hollow. Beehive Hollow. What do you sell, though? <laughs> what, a, anybody need a wrap? Beehive Hollow in the building. All right, I got to get these things put on here before someone hires me at a record label or something. <laughs> I don't I'm have sure time for another career. They're calling like L.A. like, hey, have you ever heard this Auntie Tay? Yeah, they're going to be like, She's... dude, Kanye West better not be watching because he's going to be like, hey, I found all my best people on YouTube. Who's this girl? Who's this girl? I mean, I want to be like Martha Stewart and have a sidekick like Snoop, but who needs that when you can do your own rapping? <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. I am. I, I do like to free flow rap. Busy B. No, what is it? What is it? What is the B one? Did you say what she says? Um, It'll help me remember your guys' business better too. Not yet. Okay. Tell me what you sell and tell me what your business name is and tell me how long you've been a business member. April said rap tis so sweet. Rap it? Yep. I once bought a bag from a lady named April. She was so cool. And she made it all Disney-like. Tis so sweet. 
go buy a bag for not Christmas because she's all done with custom orders. All right, I gotta work on. I gotta. I. It's been a while. I gotta get used to my free flowing. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Kate sells the. Uh, that's the B one. Beehive Hollow. Beehive Hollow sells. She does sublimation tumblers and shirts. Sublimated tumblers and shirts. Beehive Hollow. I gotta work on my rhyming. I I'm like so out of it. I used to. The girls would give me a topic when we would be driving, and I would free flow a rap about it. Okay, so Steph said I need to put the notches on first, right? Yep. And are all the one inch and half inch the same size or no? No, they they're not. Oh. Should I mark it with a pencil? Maybe. Do I have a pencil in my little caddy? Need to add pencils to the caddy. I could probably scratch it a little bit with my seam ripper that will probably never get used up here. Um, okay, so you start from the bottom. Start from the bottom now, yep. All right, start from the bottom. Is this the bottom or is that the bottom? Whatever you want it to be. So when you're looking at it, you want the notches down the right side, right? Or the left side? Are we Whatever frozen? Whatever you want it to be. Oh, my bat, my phone's not charging. Uh, did we die? No. no. We're just, they can hear us. They just can't uh -oh. see us. Uh-oh. Okay, I gotta move us a little closer. Oh, Is that gonna I like your sound it? effects. No, it always is usually plugged in. Oh. I just forgot to do it today. Yeah, you did. You almost disconnected us. Are that. you done making me feel like a horrible human being? How dare you not do what you're supposed Which to do? Which chopped up paints do you recommend for painting Chip Build's Disney home sign, the paints or the stains? So the paints are all we carry. We don't carry a stain. You can use the paint to make a paint stain. By watering it down. Good job. Ding, ding, ding. Because you watched my 20 second video on that? What? No, I've done that with you before. Oh, what if we painted with what paint stain? A piece of wood and made it more brown looking. Oh, okay. Wow. We made it. Well, maybe it was last year. We I did, could live a double life. We did a lot. What? What does that even mean? You don't mean? Even remember me doing a paint stain with you. I don't. That's probably on that YouTube thing. I don't know what you're saying. I don't even know what you're saying. Um, little bit, Lene, business member since March sell tumblers and obsessed with bling. They want you to keep rapping. I know. Maybe you do need a uh, Maybe we Snoop need... dog. What are you trying to say about my rap skills? Well, you know, until like you, you know, get back in the game. All right, we are now hiring a rapper. We're in the business to hire a rapper. I don't think Stephanie's <laughs> gonna like that I, instead of hiring another designer, I'm gonna hire a rapper sidekick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Focus on the main thing. Right. Sorry, we're not hiring a rapper. Dustin? Right. Am I in the way? No, just... I'm distracting you. Uh, should that be the bottom or should that be the bottom? Mm. Let me look at it. I feel like I have some more blending to do in a couple of these areas. I would make this the bottom. Because you want to do it? Sure. Okay, make notches at the one foot starting at the bottom. Because this one's just going to sit on the ground. It's not going to go on the wall. Where, where if it's you, going on the wall, you have to know how high up. On the right side? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Okay, think you can make so. a little notch. Why aren't we using a pencil? Because I don't have a pencil. I don't have a pencil. Okay. I don't have a pencil. Maybe I have, you have a, a marker right there. I don't want to use a Sharpie. You know what I mean? Just make a little. Ch -ch. Yeah. Oh, I have a pencil. <laughs> Stop freaking out. I have a pencil after all that. Um, are you doing it perfect? Yeah. Okay. So, are you sure that's a foot? Okay, yeah. That's 36. I see! And then there's half markers, right? I wonder where he gets the whole... Yeah, but do you want to put, like, a little... No, it's pretty common sense. Foot, six inches. You know, like Subway. Like sandwiches? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, this is a six inch sandwich. I get it. You were foot really, long, you sounded long, really smart. Long. You said, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, make it every six inches. All right. Um, you get to do the rest. Who's your wood box business? 
All right, so it'll be a thing that I will sing your guys' business names forever, okay? <laughs> but then you're gonna tell me I'm doing it wrong. Wait, okay, first of all, you lined up this edge to the edge? What? No, sweetie, you... I'm doing it the way that you did it. Okay, yeah, so now... D D D put Mark Don't call me sweetie, I get it. You're trying to be endearing, but it's not. You know what you do need for people that aren't good at leveling stuff? Is, Are you trying to say I'm not good at leveling no, no, stuff? No, no, I'm just saying. Like, you think I'm pastor thinking, aggressive? No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you want to make sure your markers get on straight, you can use a uh, carpenter's square. Okay. Or some kind of level thing. What? We're going to make it a crafter square. Why do the carpenters get all the work? The good okay, stuff? Okay, crafter square. All right, let's see what's going on here. So this is legit six feet. Sorry. It's going to be so cute. I need to make these for all the babies coming out. So you want me to out. set these all out? Sure. We're going to use Liquid Fusion because it's mine and it doesn't need to be perfect. But when I make one, when I get more, Stephanie's going to be like, I'm done sending you things. Stop ordering things for me. Just kidding. So I think I want to put them in a little notch too. Like I don't want them to be right against the edge. Whoops. So the half-inch markers, we should have put the pencil mark back. No, because I'm bringing them out. So we can oh, bring them out okay. a little bit, and we can bring them out just a little bit more. Did we just get extra markers? Mm, maybe. Did you just send extra markers, Steph, or are we doing it wrong? Well, it's every six inches, and then the foot I markers. I need a six foot. A six foot. The very top? Mm -hmm. And then a half-inch? Mm-hmm. Maybe she just sent extra pieces for the Maybe. half. Unless I don't know. This would make a cool gift though. Right? I did these on fence boards for my cousin both my cousins' kiddos that are like a week apart. So I made like a boy one and a girl one at Katie's and it was so cute. And then I'm going to write, I would write on the back of mine. Like on the back of the board? Yeah. What would you write? Dear yeah. new mom. No, the height of our kids. Great job. Oh. Wait. But you could write on the back of the board if it was a gift. What? Wait, so you'd never put the marker, the mark on this actual front side? No, because it's too cute. <laughs> what are you going to put on it and ruin it? You can, oh, this might be an idea for these kits. What? You get little, like, By the way, emblems. that reaction was perfect. That's how you need to be whenever you get a new idea. Oh. Emblems? So, like, if in this kit, Stephanie, this might be something you could add to it, is, like, if it's a girl, you could do little girl little thingies, and when you measure them, you just, like, put it on a push pin. Oh, a push pin. Or you glue it on. And they're little, like... Milestone, milestone dots or yeah. something that yeah. would be cute maybe just the circles and then they could paint even just the dot to put where they are yeah that'd be cool what does steph say into these steph things? said she did send extra thank you maria for donating and laura for donating jess jess just pushed us over the eleven thousand dollars so we have five mark. disney tickets now yep all right, I'm having a awesome. party in Disneyland. I love it. Eleven thousand dollars. Sorry if I'm doing that off. Nope. This thing about DIY it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, mm -hmm. when you're measuring, you kind of have to be perfect, right? Yeah, whatever. What? A kid is gonna measure on this. Like, how tall am I? You're like, I don't know. Uh, two inches below. The three foot marker. Oh, you know what I just realized? If it's leaned up against the wall, you're gonna lose a little height on it because oh, of the so hypotenuse. Gotta, we'll when you're measuring, you gotta push it all the way against the wall. Or just like, put it straight up and down. That's what I meant. Yeah. It'll fall over if you store it like that. Now we need a sublimation printer. 
Everyone needs a sublimation printer. Oh, to give away? Supplement. Okay, we're done with Disneyland tickets. There'll be five. If we hit 12,000, I'll give away a sublimation printer. An Epson, Whoa. as long as they're in stock. Yeah. That was the problem with last... Uh, there may be a shipping delay in that. Okay, so then grow with me goes up and down like this. Or it goes like this. Oh, see, did she yell at us? Oh, I guess you could put the board going this way if you want them on the left side. Wait, no. That has to be the bottom. What? Oh, I thought they were going that way, but that wouldn't work, huh? Well, they would read. Do you read down or up? You read down. Or do you put it right in the middle? You read Put going the numbers down. on, she said. Come on. Oh, the numbers! I didn't remember. I didn't see them. That's what she said. I was like, Follow I know she said something has to nest between something. Okay. One. Five. Two. Three. Oh, this is so cute. Four. Uh-oh. So you could position things. Because I know I she had her hers. Countertop. It's fine. But I don't want to paint the back of this. Dude, you're going to ruin my craft. How? There was wet paint on the back. That's DIY. But do you, I want them here or on this side? Mm, I don't know. Well, the try grow it. with me has to fit. I yeah. can't try with the board because there's wet paint on the back. Do you need me to blow on it? Sure. But I just want to visualize it before I nail down where I want everything. This is so stinking. Adorable. Uh, Sam says, oh, command see, strip it to the wall and the floor. Oh, that's a great idea. And I have a ton of command strips because I just bought a bunch thinking I didn't have any, but I really had a bunch. Party of Five Crafters said, I'm totally riding on the front with a paint marker. I'm transferring my boy's growth progress from the door jam to the board. Cute. And you could use like a chalk. Well, I guess that might come off if you use like a chalk pen. But if you want it to be like cute. Rather than just like, okay, so I think you have to put, unless you do the G, the grow with me going upwards. So that's what, uh, wait, Sam just said, grow with me going up because you grow up. Oh, cute. But then my letters, my numbers definitely have to go. I mean, you could go back and forth with them too. Like there's so many ways you could do this. I just need that four to figure out where it goes. I think it's dry. I wiped off most of it. So grow with me needs to go up. But you can also nest your numbers above and to the right. Like this. What? Does that look dumb? Uh, I think that's how I, Stephanie did it. So. I like that. Where the number is just above it. And then grow can come down here and this can go. Stephanie did a llama on her bottom of it. So it's like hers is a little different. But then I would step away and look at it. Oh, I can see it in there too. That's good. Step away, girl. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It is. Okay, but I'm glad I walked away because it's super uneven. So, hmm. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. But I could also bring this down. Sorry, I'm like not even in my video anymore. It's okay. Your arms are. <laughs> Look at these hands. Aren't they so pretty? I can't see my project. Okay, I think I I think I think might like it down at the bottom. You do what you like. Well, I'm trying to figure out what I like. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? What are they saying? Stephanie said, look at my picture. But I want to do it my way. Then do it your way. Stop asking then. Well, I mean, like a different. Sorry, not my way. I want to show two different two different ways you could assemble these things. Gotcha. That's what I meant. <sighs> said, put the words a little taller. Think of where the words will be on it when it's against the wall. Right. True. So, so if it's at the bottom, you're going to be like looking down. Right. So even at the top would be cute or just in the middle? 
I feel like the top would be better. Because most likely, the majority of the like dots you would use are going to be down there anyways if you are. Well, I kind of liked it in the middle. In the middle? I don't know. It looks good up there, though. Oh, I like it at the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And because when your little kids are growing, you're going to have a lot down here because yeah. they grow a ton. Well, they're going to want to mash their body up against the board. Like, how tall am That's I? How true. tall am That's I? That's true. And then if you're taking pictures of your little kids on them, they're going to cover that. If they're taking a picture, you want to have that cute picture oh, when they're little. Yeah. Okay. when they get past three feet, they're not cute anymore. No, we don't take pictures like of our kids after they're Like their teeth are missing, and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm joking. Oh, okay. I thought you were being serious. I mean, it is a little serious when you kids start losing teeth. It's not the cutest thing. Okay, I like that. I like that, too. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We're almost done. How long have we been live? I don't know. Well, what time at? is it? It's 11. Th oh, my gosh. It's 11.36. <laughs> An hour and a half. Wow. Been long. Live for a long time. You make it so fun. I don't even notice. We've been live for what? so long. That sounds like a great marriage. <laughs> it does. You're right. Uh, what's our total so far as we're wrapping this craft up? Over $11,000. Mm-hmm. That's a little crooked. But what are we giving away? Our, the Epson printer? Oh. When we hit 11000 No, you no, said you over said 12. eleven. You said when we reached twelve. No, I said eleven. We're over eleven. When did that happen? Like, 15 minutes ago. We were? Yeah. That you didn't announce that. But, did you? Yes, I did. Girl. Maybe you did. Okay, you did. Girl. The numbers are growing quickly, so thank you. You need to go back and watch it. You're getting mean. I'm getting, maybe I'm getting hangry. Oh, maybe that's the issue, yes. Yeah. I was hungry when we came in here. You go home and eat my leftovers. Oh, yeah, we have leftovers. <laughs> All right, what are we at? What are we going to end this video with? Should we wait five more minutes? Yeah, let's wait until you're done. Okay. And this giveaway will close at midnight PST. Oh, Stephanie broke silence. Oh, that's fine. She said we are at $11,000, $11,015. See, I don't think we did break 11000 then. Jamie asked, do you have any videos showing how to use the Glowforge? Do you love it? I want one, but I'm also a little afraid of it. Are we <gasps> announcing anything Stephanie, make sure Stephanie says it's okay to talk about it before we talk talk about it, because I don't know how secret we've kept it. Well, can't you give basics? Yeah, but no. Oh, I'm not okay. allowed to give away any information unless you my team tells me I can. You signed a non-disclosure statement, didn't With you? myself? <laughs> no, my team just really yes. hates when I say things, and we've been trying to keep things a secret. Yeah, gotcha. That's something I'm working on. So Stephanie can answer that one. No, I want her to tell me if I'm allowed to say it. Oh, okay. What did she say? But you can't answer. You do not what did have she any say? videos. What did she say? She said, yes, talk about it. Okay. Oh, well. We are coming out with a Glowforge <laughs> 101 series. It's literally in the editing room right now. Which means right you currently now. do not have any videos that are published. You're such a negative Nelly. I'm answering Jamie's question. No, we oh, don't. Great. All right. Now, here's the good news, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you done? I'm Would done. you like to take over the channel? You want me to change it to Dustin... Uncle Dustin. That's weird. <laughs> That's crazy. That's really weird. <laughs> okay. Um, no, but we have a Glowforge 101 coming out in the next month. Um, and it will hit our membership with a huge file launch. Like a huge file launch. We're super excited about it. So um, actually, Katie from Things Katie Makes will be hosting it, who is a Glowforge master. Um, she... She wrote the script for it all, and it's insanely good. So that is in the editing room. That is actually why Katie was at Stephanie's. And if you bared with us for an hour and a half, you deserve to know this information. So that's why Katie was at Stephanie's. We were filming the 101. I think it's an eight-part series. And if you're afraid of a Glowforge, they're going to break it down. Um, they'll make you either want it or, like me, go, okay, I'm going to order from my Glowforge masters because that seems like a lot. Um, cause we all have machines and some of us need to have some boundaries. Oh, I forgot my, this, like I, I know it's not practical for me to have a Glowforge, but, 
Um, our team, a lot of people on our team have one, and we're going to be growing like crazy with the Glowforge content. Ew, I just got glue all over my nail. Oh, my gosh. Are you excited for that? Woo! You so can't excited. watch it, though, because then it's going to make you want one even more. I don't. I think that'd be super cool. All right, you guys ready? I am so, I'm... Are you sure you glued everything down? Yeah. Okay. I'm so happy with this one versus my pumpkin one. Like, I started out the week kind of lame with my placement on my board. I think my board was too wide for that. But this one is so cute. cute. So if you want this kit, it is... Stephanie, how many kits do you have left? I'm going to take you Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We got to go find a mama to give that to. It's going in my studio. I will make oh, it for another... I, gotcha. I will make more because I know where I can get more kits. But... I made this one so we can take pictures in the studio and it matches the studio. Isn't it so cute? When do you guys draw the winners? I feel like I need to touch this spot up though. No, uh, it looks we, like... Okay. It's just a little off right there. It's just a little too much right there. Okay. Um, we will be live tomorrow at 4 p.m. PST. I think the girls, at least Briley will be in it. She really wants to be in it with me. Dustin will be there too. Um, not sure if we'll be here at home, but... You can do it here. We'll probably be here. It's just daylight savings. It might be dark by then. Oh. We have lights. It's fine. Um, but we will announce winners and um, and all the fun stuff tomorrow. And we will have a total in the morning in my morning newsletter of the total final amount that we raised. Um, yeah. What else? Who would you like to thank? Thank you to our big sponsors for this whole event. Uh, we've got... Icon Art Stencil Maker, which we use today on this. We have Expressions Vinyl, which we did a craft with this week on our tumblers. And they are giving away a, an entire expression or a vinyl kit with one of every single color of vinyl that they carry, a Caesar weaving tool, like a bunch of really cool stuff. And then Create Room is giving away the Dream Cart, which is that table that I love and I've done a video on. Uh, $500 value for that thing. And then our amazing influencers have donated a ton of prizes. We've been highlighting them all week. And Christ Up International, who does all the work. Like, we help raise the money, but they are the ones on the ground doing the work, finding the kids, loving the kids every single day, helping get our letters to them, printing out our letters for them, Finding new kids. What else? They, they, I mean, they do all the work. They, and most of them are all uh, in Africa, like Kenyans that they have, like Dustin said, are nurturing the, the, the kids to then become volunteers and, and invest back into their own communities. Yep. yep. And you for coming and hosting and Tiffany for hosting all week long with me and blinging the cricket Stephanie for making these amazing kits and keeping track of everything this week. Like you're a rock star, Jess. She's who... like the behind the scenes Alexa for this whole event. We're gonna hey, change Alexa. her name. To... <laughs> hey what Stephanie. What is our number at? <laughs> like, we need shirts that just say "Hey Stephanie." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to have like a whole files of just like shooketh and "Hey Stephanie" and all the things because <laughs> I do. I talk to you like you're Alexa. <laughs> oh man. And I don't want to miss anybody. Who else, who else always makes this event so much? Obviously, you guys. Like, the donors are amazing. Um, anybody who's just been here for the last couple years for this event. Yeah. It's amazing every year to see the, the continued committedness to Yeah. And obviously, none it. of it can happen without God. Like, just God is the orchestrator of all of it and has been going before so much even the things that i might have screwed up he's cleaned up for me and you know he's Is just that what always you think been of there me? no i'm just thinking of like just getting totally into youtube drama up. and <laughs> stuff like that like god has always blessed the yeah. road that i've been on on youtube even when i might get like caught up too much in like stuff that doesn't matter and he's always there to remind me like i have a plan for this like there's a plan for this and if we weren't doing YouTube, we wouldn't be able... Th this will be a total of 
$38,000 that we've raised for Christ Hope International in the last three years. That's crazy. Yeah. $38,000 in Well, if years. we hit $12,000 today, we'll get a solid $40,000 we've raised just with this community for Christ yeah. Hope International. So That's pretty awesome. That is so awesome. And I can only anticipate it getting bigger. I think next year I'm going to have so much I feel like this year gave me a good um just an idea of like how much I how big I can go for this last year was kind of hard being at home and during Christmas season like it was just chaotic so I think this year doing it in November was genius like I don't have much going on now I can think about Thanksgiving and crafting with you guys but honestly like I just we love we love giving we love being cheerful givers and we love that you guys are cheerful givers. So Absolutely. Yeah. So what are the next steps for tomorrow? Well, donate all day long. Um, raise awareness for other people. If you know anybody else who loves the cause and you've just given to everything and you're like, I've given all I've got, thank you, first of all. But share it with somebody who might have a heart or want to go to Africa. If you know anybody who's ever wanted to go to Africa, share the organization with them. If this giveaway is over, share share the cause, get invested. Um, but tomorrow, just join us and have a good time with us. We'll. Someone asked, uh, how long could they still buy tickets for? Till midnight PST. So East Coast Disneyland time, 3 West Coast. Yeah, three a.m. East Coast, midnight West Coast. Awesomeness. Um. What else? I think that's it. That's it. We made so tomorrow's just going to be one big old fun celebration. Yep. We'll bring some dinner or something. I don't know. It's only 4 o'clock. It'll be fine. Yeah. You're going to have so. a dinner celebration party. Yep. 4 o'clock <laughs> PST tomorrow. I will send out the total that we raised in the morning. Good luck to all of you guys who have entered. And just remember, if you're not picked tomorrow, you still donated to a phenomenal organization and cause and i cannot wait to eventually get over there and like i said stories like baisley's and things like that like those are the reasons why it doesn't even matter if i get to go to africa ever again yeah i can still come alongside the lord's work over on this side of the well it's kind of like your relationship to a lot of your influencers like yeah you're partnering with them of who they're doing great stuff and and a lot of us have never even met each other and It doesn't matter. We are all a family. A crafting family. We're a human family. It doesn't even matter if you craft. You don't craft and you're here. Thank you for bearing with our kindness today, Look at that. I got paint on my hands. Look at that. I'm so proud of you. I crafted today. That's really good. I like that. Can we go home and eat? Yeah. I love you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See y'all. Bye. We we do have a total, right? We were at $11,015. Yep. Okay. Bye.